these could be their fault. <laughs> be a little elder. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes. So, so there was this plane that was hijacked. So we, so it was part of the team that covered it and, and uh, traveled. So yes, yeah, so fashion is not the only thing that um, that we. That is uh, in cover or written by. Mm -hmm. And then I decided that I was a little tired, getting tired running around looking for stories because when you do politics and, or economics, I was doing my work, um, the stories come to you because the world keeps moving. There's always some Narendra Modi is doing something all the time. He's uh, taking his little shy kippah and uh, line that he used. Uh, chai pe chacha and court pe chacha and happily doing the round of the world as he speaks. He's probably doing Niagara pe chacha at the moment. Uh, lifestyle writing and like uh, understanding art, and I I see I see at the moment art because fashion, design, concepts, all of this are actually inside one house. It's just that they are different rooms. So it depends on which room you prefer to live in. Maybe you want to live in the room where there is art, and you want to. Make yourself uh, better at that, and so that is why I, this whole big term called lifestyle becomes smaller and smaller as as you start making it niche. And uh, with with and journalism and writing, art, fashion, all of this is evolving as as we speak, and it's becoming. A smaller, smaller world, and they're all also merging in itself. You know, you guys. I'm sure some of you must be product designers. Some of you must be fashion designers. Some of you must be textile designers. And all of it involves art, right? When you do textile designing, how many textile designers do we have here? Myself is a post-graduate in textiles. There. So isn't that art? It is absolutely not. Yeah. It's completely art. Absolutely. And product designers? We don't have product uh, courses here. Mm -hmm. So we have three courses running fashion, uh, lifestyle design, apparel merchandising, and fashion community. So apparel merchandising. What is that? From fashion and lifestyle design. Yes, so what is that? We basically, that is art, of course. Everything in that is art. And <clears throat> why do you call that art? Uh, the way we take our inspirations from everything around us, getting it into our designs and making our uh, designs out of that. So, all that is just art. <laughs> so, you're, so, if you're given a simple project like window dressing, <laughs> yeah, we take that as an inspiration. We try to incorporate that in our designs, and that's how we make our movies. We have done, we've taken inspirations from everything, like even water or the sunset or some element that is present in the room. It can be anything. So that's basically lifestyle because it's a life we live every day, and it has. Uh, impact on everything that we do, whether it is uh, the shoe we wear today, it can be about comfort, but uh, it's about the style. It's, and I, I, the word that I despise the most, and I come across every day, thanks to my job, is trend. <laughs> This has nothing to do with fashion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird term. Yes. So, so let's not be trendy. So, 
I think it's uh, more interesting if you're individualistic in your approach to the work uh, that you do, whether it's writing, whether it's uh, setting up a store for, uh, for a brand or uh, setting up uh, simply creating <clears throat> A stand for your uh, iPhone. Something that I don't have now. I always used to find, you know, I, I have to Skype and FaceTime a lot with my people in the other countries that I work with. So it's very irritating because sometimes um, I have to make the phone just stand. So I always have to make it stand on this. Or something. So I was trapped. I was in one of the countries, in one of the European countries, and you see this uh, plumbing machine that everybody, the plumbing thing that everybody has at home. I'm sure your mother, your father, everybody has that used it, which is just to unclog the uh, drain. Yeah. So they made a tiny little thing of that. I wish I had brought that actually. So. It just sticks on to the iPhone and it stands. So that's utility, art, lifestyle. I mean, there's not a one human being who's not asked me where that is from. And it's and it's it's a product which is not too expensive. So that's lifestyle when 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 products and when when your ideas and when your concepts actually start impacting our life and become useful for us that's like that's how i would like to see lifestyle not as something that is just hung on a uh, mannequin or a, or a, or rack, uh, whichever field that you eventually branch out to. And make sure you branch out to something specific because uh, niche is the way to go, one. And two, do not opt for a, a subject because that will give you the maximum number of likes or uh, Instagram uh, opportunities, and worst of all, page three images uh, in newspapers. You're not, you will become famous with your work anyway. Is it always true? I don't think so. Tell me. I mean, I personally feel there are a lot of works which are done so beautifully, but they do not get credits. Yeah, I mean, in the way they should be. Yeah, and that is because the the, the marketing is not there in place, or there are two reasons, or, or or they are not in contact with the right kind of people. That you see, see, this is the whole point. Then, who are these right kind of people? I really don't. I'm just asking so, you. So that's, that's, I feel that I, I completely understand your question. Mm -hmm. So this right kind of people, are we are we targeting the newspapers, uh, the magazines as the right kind of people, or are we targeting our audience? To whom you want to sell it as the right kind of people. I would choose the second because that there you don't have to. You don't. It's. I mean, of course, if you have money, you can do your advertising and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, your product has to be good. I've I've seen many many fall by the wayside, despite having tons and tons and tons of money, because they didn't have the the right product. The right product, the right, the right idea. Okay. It is the idea. It's not even the product. The product will eventually come out of the idea. So the, I think, as as artists, as designers, as as creative people, uh, write down one idea every day. See what works. See how you can execute it. How you can explore it. How you can then make that into something useful. People remember you 
if you give you if they if you give them something that is useful, that is beautiful and unique. And like you said, there are many people who have not got the credit that they need to. But our country is a country of a billion people as well. So out there, if you can no, but out. what should be the approach? I mean, I don't want to go into the negative side of it. No, yes, no, whatever it but is. But then there is a negative but what, side. What is the way for the new people, new set of children, yeah. when they want to put up their products, mm. their uh, designs into a platform where media or the communication business plays a vital role, like a magazine, like a newspaper, like a social website? How and what kind of approach these young children, young designers can look forward to or what should be the way forward yeah the way forward would be for you to actually first have something that is unique to you because as journalists from black cell section we come across a lot of people who are doing a lot of things and that is why we have to pick things that needs to be uh, highlighted so if you have it's you can have a lot of things and you can go and meet every editor in the country some of them are even publish it but it may be one of and maybe that one of actually hits the jackpot for you good luck but if you really want to sustain yourself it's not about reaching out to each editor and telling them that you know this is what i did it is about putting it out there and someone using it like this this girl who works in london who now has a very successful um, jewelry design uh, line called maui 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 m a w i she just started it off as uh, a design concept and then somebody somewhere noticed it it got published in uh, Vogue UK. Uh, interestingly, she's Indian. We we had missed her, sadly. Uh, and now her line is known everywhere in that circle. And what was the USP of that hit of that? Uh, she used the she's 